Okay, let's start. Uh, maybe some people will connect a little bit later, but uh, we can start already. Uh, welcome to all of you, and on behalf of the e-agriculture team from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, I would like to warmly welcome you to this e-agriculture learning activity on the use of drones in agriculture and rural development. My name is Alice, and uh, today we have with us my colleague Tembani. Together we will uh, co-facilitate this learning activity on behalf of the e-agriculture team. So we will be your hosts today, and we will also be the ones who guide you um, throughout the activity in the coming next two weeks. You will also uh, see Pietro appearing regularly, and uh, Giampaolo, who are also helping out uh, behind the screens. Why drones? Agriculture is one of the fastest adopters of this technology. And there are many points of entry in this discipline. You will see that drones are used for field analysis, soil analysis, forest monitoring, planting, crop spraying, irrigation, monitoring of plant breeding, crop health assessment, pest management, but you will also see that it's an excellent tool for disaster risk reduction or even uh, to monitor illegal fishery. To give you a taste of what can be accomplished by using drones, we have gathered some resources for our community members and other interested participants to introduce you to the topic of drones in agriculture and rural development in general. So throughout the two coming weeks, we will have uh, some live sessions and some online discussions to share knowledge among the participants uh, on this topic. So we really count on the participation of all of you uh, to contribute to this activity. So we have 640 inscriptions and the number is still going up. We have about Uh, 120 people in the WhatsApp group. So we hope that among all these participants and among the experts that we invited, we will have a very good exchange. The activity runs on the e-agriculture platform and you can do it at your own pace. Every day you will receive an email with the link to the page of that day. Uh, but once the uh, information and the links and the blogs and the videos are posted, you will be able to look at them uh, throughout the next two days. So the content remains available in the following days. We have um, foreseen some very specific activities uh, to, to stimulate um, debate and knowledge sharing. And so today you will see that we have already posted the first exercise. So for exercise one, you will, each of one of you will be asked to share an experience on the use of drones in agriculture or rural development. This can either be uh, an experience of your own or from your organization, but it can also be another, um, from another organization, something you heard of that you found particularly interesting and that you would like to share with the community. Next Monday, uh, we will take a look at all the contributions you have made and we will have a discussion about them and people will be able to ask questions to the people who posted something to discuss the different contributions. We will also have a participants panel on Wednesday 25 of October, where we ask uh, participants to talk live about their experiences. Um, we really hope that uh, among you, uh, there are a few people who are willing to uh, step up and volunteer to participate in this live session to present the work they are doing. So this can be a very, very simple application on the use of drones um, to something very complicated. Uh, we know that uh, people are at, at different levels of knowledge on this topic, and uh, we welcome uh, your proposals for this session uh, in our mailbox.
the same day, so also on Wednesday, 25 of October, um, we will also organize a peer assist session. So what is this? Uh, we will have a page on which our participants can post challenges or problems or questions you are facing uh, in the use of drones for agriculture or rural development. And here uh, we want um, participants among each other try to help out and brainstorm to find new ideas, uh, to, to find solutions to the challenges and the problems that someone might encounter. So we also invite the experts to participate actively in this session. So uh, before moving on to some more practical information on how to do all of this, um, I would like you to ask all our participants uh, in this live session to write in the chat a little comment about what your expectations are. So we are um, organizing this, offering an introduction to the use of drones in agriculture and rural development. and um, we, we can, of course, not talk about everything and give all the information that exists on this topic because it's very, very broad. But we are interested to learn about your expectations and then uh, we will take note of them and see how we can integrate them over the course of the next two weeks. So take some time to write down your expectations and then I will uh, pass the floor to my colleague Timbani who will uh, explain to you uh, some of the basic steps that will enable you to register to the platform, to comment to topics, to ask questions, connect and participate in live events, and uh, for example also how to receive automatic notifications of any um, content that has been posted. So uh, Timbani, over to you. Thank you, Alice. Uh, welcome to all new participants and we are happy to uh, have you here and also to see a lot more of you uh, registering and also showing interest in this. Indeed, as Alice has pointed, this is a very interesting uh, exercise that we want to understand also to learn from you to see how you have used drones in, uh, in uh, agriculture. My part is simply how you interact perhaps on the platform, as you will have noticed from the communications that we have sent. Um, we, this uh, course is, or this learning activity is comprised of a number of uh, items. You will have uh, items to read, you will have online meeting, and you will have to interact with our platform. So this practical aspect is to show you, I mean, how do you get around the, the, the platform that we have. First of all, um, we will encourage all of you, if those that are not members of the e agriculture community of uh, practice, to do so. This is a very simple uh, process to create an account on the to create an account on the platform. What I will do now is to simply give you a link. Right. I am pasting this link now. If you were to already click on this link, you should be able to create. What happens is that once you click, it will allow you to create a profile for yourself. And when you create a profile of yourself, you will be able to um, to hear. Are there some participants that are complaining about my sound? So I am increasing my volume. Um, how is it now? I hope everyone can hear. So now, at this moment, when you have created the, when you have created the, the, uh, the platform, the account on the platform, it is possible for you to be able to interact on the platform. So, in case if you want to send, for example, uh, Alice has said that you will be able to send in your comment or ask questions. This will be possible if you have an account and then you log on to. The account. Let's see how, um, I mean, once you are logged on or when you log, log on, how we can do that. So it means I'm going to share my screen with you. As I'm doing this, you will see a number of uh, uh, changes. Uh, 
Okay, so at this particular moment, you will see the uh, you will see the screen. So in this screen, you go exactly to the home page of the screen uh, of the e agriculture on the link that I have given you. Right. So you come here and you click login. So you type in your username here and your password and then you'll be able to log in. I'll try to log in with my username and my password. Okay, so now I am logged in into the um, into the platform. What can I do now? From now onwards, then I can access the course. You can already access the course by coming to forums. When you are in the forums, you can see this is the course that is here. If you click here, you will be able to access the activities for this particular uh, course. So this is going to be very helpful also for our participants. Now, we need to look at how you can be able to uh, share in also your comments because this is another main aspect that uh, most of our users will need to know. For example, once you want to share a comment for the exercise that we have mentioned that is uh, happening uh, already now, Alice has talked about, so when you come in from the perspective of paper spreadsheet, when you come in from the first um, exercise, you go to see the activity, you click here, and then you go to exercise one. So here under exercise one, I, um, you should be able already to see the exercises written here. Because I'm already logged in as my name, I could actually give a, a copy to my, to my contribution and type in the contribution here and then Click serve to go here. So this is an easy way. Remember the steps. I will just go straight to them because they are very uh, so that you get to set up. You come into your home after you have logged in. You come in, you go to forums. You go to the e-learning activity. Then you scroll down. You will see the exercises that are here. And then you should be able to read here and then share in your comment here and click save. The moment you click save, we will be able to receive the comment at the uh, back end and we will approve it, so it will be published. So you expect about uh, a few minutes or the best to 15 minutes for, for us to look at it and then publish it so you will be able to, to see your contribution. So this is this is about uh, about uh, the, the comment. Let's go back to uh, your presentation. Right, so subscribing to the comment of the content of the day. Each day we will be able to send you this morning. Um, the, each day we will be able to send you the, the agenda that is expected and the elements that we are able to to, to hear. Now what I will want to show you again is how you can subscribe to this comment. For example, if you want to receive via email the content of what has been shared, for example, what other, what other participants have done, we will be able to show you how, how to, to do that. Now, how can you do that? I am showing you on the screen again uh, so that you will be able to see it. Timbani, sorry to interrupt. Uh, can you um, make a real effort to talk very loud uh, for the coming 10 minutes and then you can have your voice, re voice resting so people are still having difficulties to hear you? Oh, okay. So now as I hope the voice I'll try to increase. Go to this um, presentation about how to subscribe to your content. Go to the home page and then from the home page you choose forum participation, here you participate on the forum and you click here on the learning activity.
Thank you, please. Touch me a little bit of time. I'm sure everyone else now is locked on now. And then you go to uh, Excel's first exercise. On the first exercise, you will then go here and say subscribe to this post. So if you click here, you will then subscribe to this post. By this, what it means that I have activated receiving notifications when somebody else posts their content. So this is a very extreme point for those that are willing to those that are willing to, to subscribe to the to the content. So now I will share with you the link because uh, some of you have already um, uh, noted that my voice was low. So there is a link to a blog post that will show you how to do whatever I have. Uh, I have um, explained now. It will allow you to be able to to be able to to also follow this exercise. How to create your own uh, uh, account after you created your account. How then you log after you have logged. How then you will be able to clear content. So I will send you three separate links that will show you how to follow up and do this. On your own so this is meant to be able for you to send in content and then also to be able to subscribe to the comments that are there so each morning we are going to receive an email which will show you where the content for that day is now for uh, live events in Adobe Connect like this one now we have already um, on the e-agriculture uh, website publicize a number of links that where this uh, webinars will be so it is up to you how to uh, organize your time to attend but all these events are recorded so they will give you a um, possibility for you to be able to follow these uh, events even afterwards but for these sessions that are live sessions, for example, we will encourage you to attend. For example, some of our webinars will have some experts, so they might have an, an interesting debate and discussion where you can ask your questions on the presentations. But if you don't, as long as you are registered, we will send you the links of the recording. Alice, I don't know whether there are other aspects that you want me to uh, clarify. Uh, thank you, Timbani, um, for explaining this in detail. Uh, please do share the links also in the chat uh, to the blog where you explain how to subscribe to content. So I think this is very useful for people as uh, the activity will go on uh, over two weeks. If you subscribe to the content, you will receive notifications in your mailbox about um, each uh, comment that is posted and it will be easier to follow uh, the discussions uh, throughout the two weeks so i encourage you to review the blog post and uh, check out how you can do it for those who are already members of e-agriculture for a while it's uh, exactly the same as a normal forum discussion page um, so register to e-agriculture subscribe to the content connect to our live events. We have some great experts and uh, it's always nice to be able to ask your questions live. And uh, for those who have not done so, uh, if you would like, subscribe to the WhatsApp group. Uh, we have shared the link with all the people who registered. And um, um, you can still subscribe. Uh, you will receive notifications and informations, but it not, it's not an obligation. It's in parallel of the information that you will receive by email. So it's a little extra for people who like to work with WhatsApp. Uh, one last thing that I was thinking about is because I saw somebody uh, who's interested in networking. Uh, well, everyone who's registered on the e-agriculture platform and has created his profile, whenever this person is connected on the, on the forum page, you will see it at the bottom of the forum page. And when they comment something, you will be able to click on the person's name and check out the person's profile and also send this person private messages. Um, everything that is technical and about the topic 
uh, we would of course love you to do it uh, uh, openly so everyone can join into the discussion but you can also uh, directly private message uh, somebody uh, with this option any questions write them uh, to us uh, on eagriculture at fao.org or we have some time now uh, to address your questions uh, Timbani would you like to add something before we switch to the questions yeah I think uh, it is important that at least people register on the platform and become members then everything seems to be I think this is one thing we have to we are underlined that's all I have okay thank you so uh, if you have any questions uh, this is the time. Uh, we cannot uh, connect everyone with microphone. I see that some, some people have raised their hands. So instead of connecting all the microphones, which might give similar sound problems, just type them in the chat and uh, we will uh, try to answer them for you. So uh, while people are um, typing in their questions, um, I hope uh, just uh, just as a little reminder that all of you have uh, had some time to look at the program. Um, so you can see which uh, sessions are particularly of interest to you. So each day there will be content made available on the platform, uh, which will be articles, news, blogs, and um, videos and uh, in the program you will also see some some live sessions so uh, tomorrow we will have a recorded presentation from Gerard Sylvester our colleague from uh, the FEO regional office for Asia and the Pacific in Bangkok who's going to introduce the topic of drones in agriculture uh, then we will start with an overview of uses of drones in agriculture and rural development uh, which we have split out in two parts because there's many many different ways of uh, using drones in our sector and on this second day on Thursday there will be a live webinar with Matthew Barr from Slant Trench who's going to talk about airborne agriculture analytics um, the next day it's going to be a focus on forestry and we will have a live webinar with Marie Carmen Ruiz from FAO Panama who's going to talk about how they use drones to, commun to monitor forests in indigenous territories in Panama. In the second week, we will start off with reviewing the exercise, as I told you. So the exercise is already online. Start contributing, start sharing your experiences. And we will have uh, some specific contributions from universities. So they are going to share their findings um, on, uh, on the re research they're doing specifically on drones in agriculture. So there will be information on land administration and property rights, and there will be uh, also information on um, orchards, how to monitor orchards with drones. Um, the next day we will have a live webinar with SenseFly and Mozart Solutions who will talk about uh, how they use um, the SenseFly drones in agriculture and uh, a practical example from Mozambique. There will also be an article on an alternative uh, to drones, uh, how to um, use uh, helium air balloons uh, to uh, use drones. Um, then we will have the participants panel as we have already explained to you. Welcome to uh, send us your proposals to participate and present and our peer assist that will be a session uh, about helping each other among the more than 600 people who subscribe for this course. Towards the end of the second week we will talk about drone regulations and for that we have uh, with us Giacomo Rambaldi who's also here today who uh, has been working on this for quite some time and he has also prepared a presentation and uh, 
we can ask questions afterwards. And on Friday, our focus will be on drones in humanitarian action uh, with uh, WFP and We Robotics. So let me go back to the questions now. Um, Tembani, if you want to take a question, let me know. I could uh, thank you, Alice, for that um, for that uh, overview. And already, I can see some questions that are coming in, which are straight into some of the content mm -hmm. that is um, that is uh, addressed. Huh? Um, Alice, if you allow me, I think the first question is from Rabaka and also from Jonathan are uh, almost related. The first one is talking about how drones can help in the real research management, that is the first. The second talks about the UAV license regulations. Right? If I'm not so um, certain, I think our content will have some specific, some examples that cover that. And um, Alice, you can overview for Jonathan the day that we have looking at the regulation and the, and the information that is available. Yes, yeah, so Jonathan, we will be talking about regulations, privacy and safety uh, on Thursday, the 26th of October. So uh, there we can specifically focus on, on, on these kind of questions. And um, pest management will be on Wednesday uh, from this week, 18th of October. Uh, so for the technical questions, uh, we are not going to address them today because that would lead us too far. Um, but um, if there are any further practical questions, we can answer them right away. So uh, the question from John uh, from Zambia um, about FAO programs uh, on using drones in agriculture. So there are several FAO programs that work with drones. Um, some of them will be uh, described uh, throughout the two weeks. And the second question from John, we are going to take note of it and have uh, um, one of our colleagues uh, post an answer to that question on the platform. So uh, we can give some more information about that on the platform. So we take note of the technical questions and um, we will address them uh, in the corresponding days of the program. Any more questions? Okay. I'm just going to wait one more minute, but I think we have uh, no further questions. I think some, some uh, participants are typing. Let's give them maybe a minute or so. Okay, Zed, another question. Um, difference between UAVs and satellites in terms of results. Uh, this question uh, will be addressed tomorrow um, when we talk about uh, technologies. So um, we will post your question and then we will... Uh, ...have uh, one of the experts answer to the question. So just to clarify, uh, Timbani and myself, we are the facilitators of this course, so we do not have uh, the answers to all of your technical questions, uh, but we are going to facilitate to uh, put you in touch with the right person on the right day uh, to receive an appropriate answer. We're going to try at least, and if anyone from the community uh, wants to uh, chip in and uh, explain, um, it's always uh, Alice, very good is, um, to, to Joel, have also Joel your contributions. Ask, can, could you elaborate a bit what do you do with the data obtained from the drones? Huh? So this is an opening session of the course. As you, as the training, ex learning activity, you will have some sessions that 
for example, tomorrow talk about technology and uh, Joelma, uh, just note that the drones are tools that are used to collect data for other users. So the use cases will be provided during the learning activity. So if you look at the program that Alice, maybe Alice will put them a link to the program that they see, it will be helpful for them to look and to see in which particular day their specific uh, question will be answered. So um, we will take note of all the questions that came on today so we can prepare uh, the answers. And I've also posted the link to the program that you uh, should already have received uh, through your mailbox. Um, but if, in case you want to check it again, so content will be made available day by day. Uh, so today you can only see the content of Monday the 16th of October. Tomorrow we will be able to see the content um, of both Monday and Tuesday the 17th. So once it's published it remains available but you cannot yet uh, access the content um, uh, for, from the two weeks right away. So uh, it's going to be posted bits by bits. Uh, so uh, try to figure out where your questions fit and then you post them directly on the platform. Um, on the relevant day and uh, Timpani and myself we will be there to monitor and to uh, help you connect with the person who can answer your questions. I think that there's uh, no more further questions for now um, so I would uh, really want to thank all of you for participating today in this opening session. I know it's very practical and it's not uh, yet diving into the topics and giving answers to all um, these questions you have and all the interesting information that is available on this topic. Uh, but I hope you will find uh, some uh, resources uh, over the course of the next week that can be of interest for you. And I hope you will be connect, able to connect with some of your peers and have uh, useful exchanges of information. So thank you very much uh, to all of you for being there. Yeah, and, I would like to um, thank all of Tabani, you for you your participation else? and also for your logging into the section. Um, maybe we could ask Alice to post the email address because I think there are some participants who will have some questions. They can already send these questions to us. And also there are some that have a specific uh, use case for drones that they are asking. Also, it could be good to send this also to us. So uh, this is the email address. Into our interactive uh, sessions, we will be able to address this. So um, it is uh, a good sharing, knowledge sharing experience, and also it would be um, it's good that we know what uh, beforehand what other people are searching that they couldn't find. So it could be some of the materials which you might have on the e-agriculture platform, and some might not be there. So thank you so much. Send in your questions and we will try to address them as we go. Thank you, Alice. From my side, I think everything is clear. Okay, thank you very much, Tembani. And uh, I just posted the link again to today's content, so click on it. Go and check it out. And if you have any practical questions, post them right there on the platform because other people who have not participated in this session might have the same questions. So we can answer them uh, publicly and uh, so the, the, the answers remain available for all. So we really encourage you to, to post on the, on, on the platform so you can immediately uh, check if you um, were able to follow um, the demonstration from Tembani on how to do so. I'm going to log out now and uh, thank you again for being there today and we hope to read uh, you uh, a lot over the coming next two days and welcome you again in our next live session which will be on uh, Thursday uh, the 19th of